DevTech Media. Subscribe to DevTech Media. DevTech Media. Subscribe to DevTech Media. Prior to the 12th August 2021 general elections, the United Party for National Development Administration during their campaign promises did promise the people of Zambia free education. And few months after being ushered into office, they indeed acted upon the said promise. But even though the implementation has been made to ensure that every child gets access to free education, some section of society have questioned the credibility of free education in Zambia. The argument remains that despite the motive being good as a way of encouraging more children attend free education, concerns of hygiene because of various shortcomings, children being clouded in classrooms continue to raise question to some who question on the quality of education being imparted. And then also the issue of quality of education. We're looking forward to quality education. It's, it's not a quality education when one teacher has more than 200 students. They can't even mark the papers. And then there are even different kinds of students in one classroom. Some are special education, and others learn faster than others. So where's the, the, the free and quality education that was promised? Um, the government has a lot, a lot more work to do. However, in an inter United Party for National Development, it is a member of parliament, Tuambu Mtinta wonders why some circles in society, especially the privileged, would mock a well-intended free education policy introduced by the UPND administration. We've got over 800,000 children that are not able to access education. Particularly, one of the main reasons was the issue of school fees. These are the orphans, and the majority of these children that, are not, that have not been able to access education are the girls. When the UPND government came into power, one of the most important, one of the matter of urgency, public importance, was to immediately ensure that education becomes free in Zambia. Because education is the greatest equalizer. Education is the only process that can get those underprivileged boys and girls out of the shackles of poverty for them to have a livelihood and for them to lead a sustainable life. So when we hear that some people are mocking a process which is underway, it's very sad. And the people that come from privileged families, they should be the last person, they should be the last people to comment. One of the reasons why in this situation is because in the past 10 years, we didn't have a government. Meanwhile, the lawmaker states that the UPND administration is working toward ensuring that the education system being provided is qualitative. Our next step as government is to move to ensuring that the education system we are providing is qualitative. And that is where issues around CDF comes. I'll give an example. In my constituency, test is over 60% of the CDF allocation has gone towards ensuring that there's quality education. As a UPN the government could have not waited to, to, to see to it that we have got enough class, we have enough desks for us to declare a uh, free education. For us, free education was, is, was an issue of urgency and we needed to see to it that every child is given an opportunity to be in school. Well, we are ensuring that we work on the issue of quality. And According to Sustainable Development Goal number 4, Zambia by 2030 needs to ensure that all girls and boys complete free, equitable and quality primary and secondary education. Subscribe to DevTech Media. DevTech Media. Subscribe to DevTech Media.